we are first launch in the Galaxy Wildcat. I'm gonna give it a go, see what it's all about. It's a nice calm day, so just give it a little test run, really. Looking forward to it. Um, not sure how I think it's gonna work, how I'm gonna fit it all out, but it is just a basic paddle today with chucking a few lures about, hopefully try and standing up on it as well. Um, and we'll see, see how we get on. I'll bring you back when we've got fish. In. I tell you what, new boys on the Hobies and that all these years. Well, you've had it easy. Like that. Rudder down. Right, let's get the flippers in. So it's facing towards me. That's like that. Days of school day. Right. So, let's get our feet in, adjust these up. Sad. This is exciting. I mean, sitting down like this already, it's. Oh Christ. I mean, the Viking, I love my Viking. Crowfish reload, but how about that? Then? Oh, yes, oh, it tracks and turns really quick as well. Let's go and catch up with Nick. That's what it's all about. I mean, you boys in your hobies, guy, you've had it easy for years. It's just like armchair fishing. Towing two lures, they're nicely spaced out. Plenty of space on the deck. Brilliant, love it. Love it. Just need to find those bass now. I've seen a few fish topping out. Cast two of them and uh, nothing. I can't do my hands. It's like, I might start smoking. On here, Prism and New Yak. Woohoo! Nice little silver bar. Ah, right, little tiddler. Yeah. First fish on my new yak. There we go. Little school bass of Chris and the yak. Perfect. There you go, bud. Just had a couple of bass in quick succession there. That's a very hit and miss. This feels a bit better, this fish. It's come straight to the top. Feels a 
looks like a slightly better bass. Massive, but. Slightly better one. There you go. Fish of about, I don't know, probably just about a keeper, but we're not going to be keeping him. I think we're going to get into quite a few more, so we'll wait. Got a fish on here. I think it's a cod. I'm pretty sure it's a cod. That's why it's nodding. And the way it took. is a nice codling. There we go. Only a small one, but again, Nick's got one. Lose this, not careful. Ah. There he is, codling, so. There we go. It's a keeper. Nice Sussex cod, beautiful. Let's go around again and do it again. So, just uh, sort of correcting my uh, where I'm pedalling, I'm just correcting it with the rudder, and the rudder's just like stopped working. I've heard this online, I just oh, well, it's got to be, it's got to be a design fault, uh, um, it's got to be just like unlucky, someone actually that happened to, but. I'm not impressed to be honest. So there's nothing now, there's no steering. The rudder's up, but I'm to steer with the paddle. Which is not ideal. So it's like a perfectly smooth day out here, and it's, uh, yeah, this is not fantastic, but we caught the bass, caught the cod. Probably, but I have to say, on my first run out in this kayak, I'm uh, bitterly disappointed. I know it's the lower end of the scale of the, the like pedal drive kayaks, but you know, there's things that flag up straight away. The seat comes unclipped when you're pedaling because it's just working itself loose and then it, it flips back. Um, so one dangerous point, well, the rudder doesn't work, um, worked for the first half hour of my trip this morning and the actual pedal system, it works itself loose and the clips, one will pop out and then it will sit pissed in the drive so it will just constantly go around, it will be pushing to the left or the right. So I've basically bin that off, bin the rudder off and I'm paddling. I'm three miles out of sea. It's a pretty good job I'm fit, really. And I know these waters, but there's three dangerous points. So obviously you see me having a bit of a rant there about the problems that come up on the maiden voyage. Um, the main one being the uh, the rudder system. Um, now, obviously this was a problem at sea. I couldn't steer, I had no steering, but when, when I was back on dry land, I opened the steering uh, mechanism up and it's, it's kind of, you've got this disc where you've got the cable that kind of 
rotates around the disc and it kind of oscillates on the disc as you turn the the rudder control left and right but it's, it's slightly kinked up the cable is slightly kinked up so as it's going into the tubes into the um, into the side of the the kayak it's kind of like popping and and it's just not running smoothly uh, and as such it's you know there's, there's room for error with any engineering thing it, it, it can work itself loose and that's exactly what it did but um, I've since like I've taken it apart and put it back together it's an easy fix but the cable's still kinked. Now I have spoken to Graham at Galaxy Kayaks and he's gonna send me a brand new system there. So that you know their customer service is, is spot on. Um, but with regards to the uh, the pedal drive where it was sitting, so it's kind of sitting pissed in the drive, I think that was more to do with, with me not having the correct kind of setup for the flipper drive because the flipper drive's got a one to seven where you can you can adjust it like so it's further away from you or closer to you and obviously with the seats as well so i think it was set up wrong for me for my leg length and where i was kind of like like pushing hard i was kind of like doing that in the seat as well and it's just like kind of putting pressure on the seat and it's just worked itself loose so with the with the with the the drive in the flipper system the next trip was fine when i adjusted it and the seat was fine as well so those they were kind of one of the same problems so those those two things sorted themselves out um uh, so realistically it was just the, the major thing that flagged up for me was just the um was just the rudder system which is being remedied as we speak so that's all good my little bass all about the same sort of size i had one keeper but uh Here we are again, Baker's Car Park. This time we are with the other kayak, the Wildcat. Let's see how we get on. Last time we had a few problems with the uh, rudder, steering of the rudder, but hopefully today it's all going to be good. <laughs> Tide's running this way now, and we've got a, a kind of north northwesterly wind. That's yeah, it's not really windy, it's not rough, but there is that little bit of slack every now and again. But I'm pretty happy with it to be honest. And I've adjusted the pedals, I've adjusted the pedals from the last time I used it, and they seem to be, seem to be perfect for my. Uh, high and negative. So, my first slips kind of being a deviated now. But obviously, we'll, we'll see. Time will tell. But yeah, I'm certainly impressed at the moment. GoPro, stuck at the moment, just really feeding the bass. Uh, 
face are like getting little tap 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 all the time but it's, it's just bass we just need it to go right over and uh GoPro, stop recording. It's not a good bass. Put the whole squid. Yes! <laughs> oh, what a beaut! So as you can see, at fishing at anchor, um, the Galaxy Wildcat, it, it sits well. It sits well in the tide, it sits well at anchor. It wasn't particularly rough, but um, yeah, I, I've, I've put uh, different guide ropes on around the kayak, so you've got anchor trolley both sides. Um, I'll do a video on how I did that. Yeah, well. it sits well in the tide, and, and, and my previous concerns about the rudder have been alleviated, albeit I wasn't like, out you know, turning too much. On that particular day, I was literally paddling out to said said mark using the rudder and the, the pedals and um, and just anchoring up and then uh, just sort of pedalling back. wasn't that far at all to be fair, but you know the pedal system worked. The seat was a lot better with the pedal adjustment. So yeah, it was it was all good. Um, so from my um, from my first trip to this trip, it was it's just like a marked improvement on just uh, adjusting a few things. So yeah, well that much. Third time lucky, get this kite sorted out so it's all good and proper, rigged up how I want it. So of each and every trip we make further adjustments to the setup. Oh, keep my rudder down. Flat would help. comfortable with the sort of fishing platform that it is. Another nice day to test it. I'm literally just going to be chucking lures about with one rod out that side or one rod out this side. And then uh, see how we get on. Nice. Gin clear water. So first of all we'll come out the harbour, we'll head west along to the Church of the Good Shepherd. 
a bit of reefy ground there and we'll see how we get on. I'll bring you back, we've got fish. So we're towing lures to the Mion. Nearly there. Right where I thought they would be, a little bit of a reef. Looks like quite a decent fish actually. Well, take many fish for the table so. so it's just coming up to around the side of the reef where I had the bass the last time so here you see me pedaling away and it's um I'm pedalling over a certain type of ground that I know that holds fish and this is why I really wanted the kayak because it's quite it can be quite specific I mean, on, the, on this particular day, the bass were very, very localised to this, this one area of the reef. And if, I, if I'm, for instance, if I'm using a paddle, I could paddle over that bit. Um, but I'm not hands-free, obviously. I need to grab a rod or cast a rod out or, you know, yeah, I, I, I could still have rods out. But this is more specific. It's, it's, it's like I'm exactly set up how I want to be. I'm pedalling away and I can... I can look at myself coming up to this mark on the fish finder and you know once you know where those bass are which they were in this real real specific kind of area just on the corner of this reef then you you can you can just pedal over it and then uh, yeah, they'll take the lure um, but having a pedal drive kayak gives you so much more it's, it's much more beneficial um, in, in that sense so you know it's quite evident that, yeah. Should be any time, any time. Here we go. Push on. Push on. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's way point. Slightly before that was. Yeah, there, there. Sure. Love it when a plan comes together. There he is. Cutlass pound, spiky. He's going back. <laughs> oh, fish on. Look at that. They're right on this the corner of this reef again. Yes. Beautiful. This is what I wanted the wildcat for. Like trolley lures. I don't think I can put two rods out to be honest. around this reef I guess that's where they are uh, back over that way here we go we can get into a real time 
once you find a bass, oh that was a take, once you find bass you, you, you've just got to replicate it, like keep going over that same bit of ground. Now I'm drifting away from it, the, the reef of ground's over there, but it's a fish across. So I've now marked all that as a waypoint. Definitely going to get my best croaker today. Well, unfortunately, the rudder has gone again. I can't believe it. It's gone again. I'm just kind of circling around this reefy bit. And, uh, yeah, the rudder's gone again, so I've got no steering now. Luckily enough, I've got a screwdriver, so I'll probably be able to fix it. But I'm not doing that every time I come out. So out at sea, trying to fix this rudder. Not ideal, is it? So, you know, if I drop any of these, because they're stainless steel, they're not magnetic, so if I drop any of these screws, that's it, we're buggered. It's, it's not ideal, the, the, the wire, kind of where I've been turning so much, it's kind of worked itself underneath the, the, the like oscillating disc, and then it, it just can't turn at all. It's kind of like trapped between the, the, the kayak and the, and, the, uh, and, and the disc, so it's, it's just it's it's kinked up, um, and I believe it's because there is a slight kink in the wire, and I, I I truly believe that this kept happening because of that problem. Anyway, as I explained earlier on in the video, the uh, speaking to Graham at Galaxy Kayaks, he's sending me a complete new wiring system, so I can see this this would just remedy it, um, but it was I have to put it in the video and be honest, um, it, you know it's happened twice now, so it's an easy fix. Um, but I wouldn't want to keep doing that out at sea, so you know, um, once I get my new rudder, it'll be going straight on. any rougher it'd be a bit of an issue. Okay so that, that works okay yeah. Right let's catch some dinner. Back on that reef again. Me in the shot as well. Just going over that little wreck over the church of the Good Shepherd. And boom, right over the top of it. Was that bad boy? Nice one, Cheryl. Just love Shaw and Bassett. That's a nice table sized fish again, so that's my quota. It's beautiful. one wait hit not massive, I can tell that, but I think he, he seems like a better stamp than... Nice. Right, 
be. Oh yeah, it is a good fish. Get one. Well, that was a much better one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, it's still a nice fish nonetheless. So. Go back, mate. And away. Right over the break again, that was. heading away from the reef now so we're going back in so unless I catch another fish that pretty much concludes the session really slow start going out to the wrecks and the own and then the other little wreck that we know a couple of mile out absolutely loaded with cuttlefish um, no bass cut the bass on the way in and then around the reefs about about another 10 so yeah, about 12 bass, all in all. Um, nice little session, really. Quite, quite nice fish in there. This is what I want the wildcat for. This is this type of fishing. Hands-free or hands-free paddling. Rod over each side and. Uh, Still setting it up, so I would like another rod holder this side, but that's actually got the camera boom on it at the moment. But that's going to go further back. Oh, that's great, really, really nice, really enjoyable session. A bit of a problem with the rudder, uh, fix that. Doesn't take much to fix, that's the problem. Oh, we've got a fish on, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. That's a right long cue. Thank you.